We generally consider fear as something outside us. So there is this question of the observer and the observed. Now, is it possible to look at fear without the observer? So that you are completely in contact with it all the time. Being aware of fear without choice, which means the choice implies the observer, choosing whether I don't like this, I like this. Hmm? Therefore, the observer is ab when the observer is absent, there is choiceless awareness of fear. All right. Hmm? Right. Therefore, the, the word prevents being completely in contact with fear. Yes, yeah. words can be a screen. Yes, that's all, that, that's all what we are saying. All right. So the, the word mustn't interfere. True. All right. We have to get beyond that. Beyond the word. But is that possible to be beyond the word? Theoretically we say yes, but the, we are slave to it. Far too much so, yeah. yes. I mean, it's sure. obvious, we are slave to it. So, the mind has to become aware of its own slavery to word, realizing that the word is never the thing. Right. So, the mind is free of the word to look. That's all implied. Now, there is fear at the conscious level, which is fairly, under, one can understand fairly quickly. But there are the deeper layers of fear, so-called at the hidden parts of the mind, to be aware of that. Now you're talking about whether we can be uh, explicitly aware of the full reach of mind. Yes, yeah. full content reach of the mind, which is both the conscious as well as the deeper layers, the totality of consciousness. And can we be explicitly aware yes. of all of that? I'm not sure. I say it is possible. It is only possible when you are aware during the day what you say, what you, the words you use, the gestures, the, the way you talk, the way you walk, the, what your thoughts are. To be completely and totally aware of all. Do you think all of that can be yes, sir. for you in total, it, it, total awareness? Absolutely. When there is no condemnation and justification. When you are directly in contact. During the day. During the day if you are aware of your thoughts, of your feelings, if you are aware of the motives, all which demands a mind that is highly sensitive. Uh, it seems to me you're, you're saying something like the key to doing this is a radical reversal in our point of view. It's as though we were prisoners uh, straining at the bars for the light that, and looking for the glimpse of light we see out there and wondering how we could get out towards it while actually the door of the cell is open behind us. If only we would turn around, we could walk out into freedom. So, surely, sir. This day, in this is involved the everlasting struggle, conflict. Man caught in his own conditioning and straining, struggling, beating his head to be free. So, and again we have accepted with the help of religions and all the rest of the group that effort is necessary. That's part of life. That's, to me, that is the highest form of blindness, of limiting man to say you must everlastingly live in effort. And you think we can uh, Not I think, it, it is, so it's not a question of thought. Thought is the most... Uh, Let's delete those two words and just say we don't have to. But to live 
without effort requires the greatest sensitivity and the highest form of intelligence. You don't just say, well, I won't struggle and become like a cow. But one has to understand the hoax, conflict arises, the duality in us.